Good morning, I'm Justin Buckholtz here at ETR Truck Center. Today we're gonna do some ECM diagnostics on a Caterpillar C7, so join me. All right, here we go. We've got a Caterpillar C7 in a Freightliner M2 business class. The customer complaint is check engine light and engine running rough. Um, stated that when the engine runs rough, ironically is when the check engine light is on, so. We've got our Caterpillar electronic te technician pulled up here. Um, go through some basic troubleshooting stuff that I would do. I have changed the frame rate on my camera here. You can see the the flashing in the screen. It's the best I can do, but at least you can kind of follow along with me and see what we got. So on the top bar here, just follow my mouse. This first icon here is active codes. So with the ignition switch on, we are communicating with the ECM. Currently we have no active code, so that's, that's good. Now we wanna go over here, log diagnostic codes. All right, so we got cylinder number five and number six, injector current fault. That's a 5-11 and a 6-11. Pay close attention over here to the right hand side of the screen. You've got your occurrences first and your last. That's a that's an actual timestamp of when this when these started happening. If you look above the fault codes there at diagnostic clock, you'll see 5309, 5309 hours. That is where the hours is on this particular engine or, or ECM. If you'll notice the fault codes, all this started happening two hours ago, 5307. So this is definitely a direction we want to head. But before we move on, let's move over and look at the logged event codes. So this this should tell you some maybe some older stuff. And yes, it, there's some older codes, low fuel pressure warning and low cranking fuel pressure. Based on the diagnostic clock, those are well over 100 hours ago. We're not gonna really, we're not gonna worry about those. My guess would be maybe it was time for a fuel filter change on this truck. And uh, once he got his routine PM service, it corrected that issue. So let's go back to our log codes. And with injector current faults, we're gonna start by doing a little diagnostics here. Let's go to diagnostics, diagnostic test. And there's several options here. Um, I'm particularly gonna start with the first one, injector solenoid test. Let's click that. Keep in mind the ignition is on. We can run this test without the engine running go down here and just simply click start notice on the top right hand side you see okay is coming up and you can actually hear the, the injector solenoids clicking one at a time so this is a ECM self test this is checking the wiring and the solenoids on the injectors so far it's liking it pretty good I'm gonna stop that test So I'm gonna bring the camera with me. I've actually already got the valve cover off of this engine. The customer felt like that the engine either needed an injector on number five or six, or maybe a wiring harness. I want to show you how clean everything looks. I've inspected it. This, this engine has had a set of injectors put in pretty recently, I don't know exactly when. Um, and the, the wiring harness itself, this is the injector wiring harness. Those are problematic on these engines. Um, I highly doubt either one of these issues would be the cause of this problem. So now we're gonna do some, some further diagnostics. We got the engine running. The engine is running 
pretty rough. Uh, back to active codes. I don't see any active codes. Let's, let's for grins, go ahead and do a little cylinder cutout test. Now doing a cylinder cutout test, you can do a manual or an automatic. We're going to do a manual test real quick. Proper diagnostic equipment on many anything you're working on nowadays. This is probably the most important tool, but one of the most important tools we have here at our shop. Uh, we, we do have three three laptops that communicate with a variety of different engines. We'll talk more about different software, things like that another day. So follow my mouse. I'm just gonna go through cylinder one through six manually cut the cylinders in and out and you'll, you'll be able to hear it in the background. And I'm just double double tapping the computer here on the mouse pad. If you're listening for the change every time you cut each cylinder out. So far so good. based on the time stamp. That is, is your status groups and you can see we're gonna kind of go through the different groups but obviously the engine's not running right now um, accelerator possession accelerator pedal position excuse me three percent I'm gonna go hit the throttle pedal you'll see it go to hundred percent Just going down the line here. Just want to look for anything out of the ordinary. Especially your temperatures and pressures. Everything looks to be reading somewhat normal. You can see coolant temp's only to 106 right now. We haven't ran this engine long. I do want to look at one thing in particular. ECM battery voltage, 12.6 this computer slash ECM requires 12 volts to power up and think properly and as you can see uh, it's got that so all right the diagnosis is typically with injector current faults in my 20 years of experience he's got the beginnings of an ECM going bad uh, there are injector drivers inside of the ECM this is a you know a 15 year old engine, and uh, the next step is to verify my my guess is we we need to hang a test ECM on this engine. Um, it's gonna fix it. I can go ahead and tell you. From that point, the customer will decide does he want to put a good use ECM on it or you know uh, possibly a, a new cat ECM. But I hope you hope, hope you found this video helpful and uh, just please like and subscribe we we want to keep doing these videos as long as we can for y'all thank you very much